Hello, my name is Artyom Sokolov and I am sales manager of Cellcom Security and today I'm going to, to introduce you to a Vibro Acoustic and Acoustic uh, Protection System CellSP157. Uh, CellSP157 is a modified version of a device CellSP55. So the delivery set of the device includes power supply cables, uh, a cable for the device and uh, means of 220 volts, Celus P157 generator. On the screen, on the main screen of the device, you can see there is a control screen, menu button, right button, left button, enter and save. In the middle of the screen you can see four LEDs which represent, upper LEDs represent the workability of the device and lower LEDs repre represent first and second channel workability. So uh, there are three different LED signals which can be displayed on the lower LEDs. Uh, green is for normal, orange is for cable break, and red is for overload. Next is the upper panel of the device on which we can see a turn on off switch, two fuses, two amperes each, power supply jack, remote control jack and two channels for connection uh, of transducers. There are two uh, different uh, transducers which can be used with this device. One is a Vibro transducer, CellSP157 VP, and the other is an acoustic transducer, uh, which is called uh, CellSP157 AS. So basically, uh, 157 VP Vibro transducer can be used for protection of walls, uh, false uh, ceilings, etc and uh, for protection of air shafts and uh, if you need to protect false uh, like di different spaces between false ceilings then you should use CLSP uh, 157AS. Next I'm going to talk about uh, the connectors which uh, we can use with the CellSP 157 VP Vibra transducer. So basically there are three different connectors which is used uh, for different tasks. Uh, the pin is used for concrete walls. The plate connector is used for plaster walls and for win windows. And special pipe connector is used for protection uh, of your radiators, like uh, heating systems and pipes. So next I'm going to show you how to install or connect those metal connectors to a certain wall or a certain part of the wall. Basically what we take is a brick Imagine it is a brick wall, we take the pin connector, drill, just press it tightly so it doesn't wobble, drill a hole in the wall, put it in the wall and uh, fixate it so it doesn't wobble. Next uh, would be an imaginary wi window. This is our window. This is a plate connection. We take uh, glue, 
glue the uh, lower side of the plate, connect it to the window, press it, and uh, wait for it to fixate. So it also please note no, so it doesn't wobble. Next, we take our imaginary pipe, we screw off the lower part of the connection, connect it on the pipe, connect the transducer, also screw it tightly so it doesn't wobble, screw in the lower part of the connector and fixate it on the tube or your heating system so it doesn't wobble and here it is. Last but not least I would like to talk about uh, infrared remote control of the device uh, CLSP-157 Basically what I have here is a remote control itself, sensor, cable connector, one is connected to the sensor, other is connected to the back side of the RC jack, and we have a remote on and off switch for our CLSP-157. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you understood a bit more about uh, the acoustic and vibroacoustic protection system CLSP-157. Thank you for your watch and I am your host Artyom Sokolov.